The computer mouse, more or less similar to what you see now, was invented in 1964 by Douglas Carl Engelbart. Nowadays, a user cannot imagine his or her work on a PC without it. The device was first called X and Y position indicator. The name mouse appeared after a lab employee thought to himself that the box with the tail reminded him of a home pest. Of course, manipulators have changed considerably since then. Apple Company contributed to this significantly by supplying one of its computers in 1984 with a one-button mouse. Later, when personal computers became widely spread, the market was occupied by optical mechanical mice with a ball inside. The ball revolved special rollers. Sensors collected the data and the coordinates were sent to the computer. At the end of their development, such mice were cheap and quite efficient. You can still see them in some places. However, optical, mechanical mice had to be cleaned often. One also had to use a mouse pad so that the ball would not slip. The mouse was also not that reliable. However, despite all these disadvantages, the optical, mechanical mice truly became mass products. In fact, the mouse became a standard computer accessory, just like a keyboard. The mouse, which we are used to nowadays, has become such thanks to two companies. Agilent Technologies developed the optical CMOS photosensors technology. In 1999, using this technology, Microsoft designed the first commercial optical mouse called IntelliMouse. At a certain point, optical mechanical mice started yielding to optical mice. The latter had a sensor which photographed the surface which was illuminated by a red LED light. To increase precision, some mice had two sensors installed. The optical mouse didn't require cleaning and worked on most surfaces. However, it did not work well on certain types of pads and also on transparent and mirror surfaces. Little time passed since the first optical mouse had appeared, as in 2004 the first laser mouse appeared on the market. It had a multifold increased sensitivity and could work even on glass and mirror surfaces. It also consumed little energy and did not require illumination. The operating principle of a laser mouse was not different from that of an optical mouse. The cursor position was still determined by surface photographs. However, it was illuminated not by a red LED light, but by a more precise laser. A continuous technological progress has made modern computer mice look absolutely different from their distant ancestors. So what is to become of computer mice in the future? Will it acquire a new form and capabilities, or will it disappear being replaced by touchscreen displays, which are becoming more and more popular nowadays? Well, we shall see that.